Time Orders, and this is another episode of Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy, and in today's episode we are going to do missions for Donald Love. And I mean, that's the only person we can do missions for. So that's what I'm gonna do. You know what I think I'm not gonna, because today is Wednesday, and so I got two more days of recording this game. Which means six more episodes of half an hour each of me doing missions, but I don't think I'm going to actually pull off uh, finishing this game this week. I think I'll get pretty close to the end this week, but probably won't finish it this week. But that's okay, I guess. Also, yeah, I gotta remember that the PS Plus games came out and they're already available, so I gotta record those. Ark Survival Evolved Ghost Runner, which I actually want to do a Let's Play on, so I'll just add it to my library for now. And not do an entire Let's Play off. Also, man, this year, like, these fucking two months were so far way fucking better with video game releases than the entire year of 2021. 2021 was fucking shit, in my opinion. Like, what? Only good things that came out were, like, Resident Evil. Fucking Yoga in the Rain. Pretty cool. Maybe that's how you do it. I don't know. What the fuck is the deal with this Oriental gentleman? Everything about the fucking... Donald Love, so weird. Donald Love, Love is kind of like, kind of reminds me of Patrick, the American Psycho, which I've been talking about last episode. Make sure you pick them up before anyone else does. What do I do? Get a boat and follow the plane. Gotcha. So what I was saying is. Like, what, what video, good video games came out? Uh, Elden Ring, which everybody's fucking praising, and I bet it is deserving of these 10 out of 10s. Wonderlands is coming out next month. Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga is coming out. Shadow Warrior 3 recently came out, and uh, I heard good things about it. I only played the first one of the rebooted series, but I heard the second one was like, whatever. Where the fuck is this game telling me to go? I ain't going all the way there. I just need a boat. Why would I need to go, like, all so far away to get a boat when this boat's closer by? The fuck's your deal, video game? Yeah, and there was also... Nice. Very smooth. Oh, I almost got 69. That would have been nice. What is this stinger doing here, just sitting in the middle? That's kind of weird. What was I saying? Uh, what other video games came out? Oh yeah, Horizon Forbidden West came out. Also heard good things about it. Uh, what else came out this year? Well, those games I listed alone are way fucking better than everything that came out in 2021. 2021 had... Okay, Resident Evil 8, Psychonauts 2, and that's it. I can't think of any other video games. I mean, there were other video games, but I just did not give gave a fuck about those. That's like a like a sports boat over there. So I gotta pick up packages that this plane's about to drop. It's really flying really low. I mean, this plane does not turn very fucking sharply. And so the timer was just for the packages to start beginning to drop? Where are the packages? Six packages, and each time I pick up one... Uh-oh. Each time I pick up a package, I get a fucking star one level. Oh, shit. Watch it, officer. You might want to not dive your car into the water. Actually, I picked up four packages and I only got three star one level. So what's that about? Yeah, so this mission can be either really fucking annoying or insanely easy because depends on how much the cops decide to fucking ram me off the fucking road. Because, think about it, I can just simply... I can pretty easily... Oh, I gotta get out of here now. I can pretty easily... Uh, I'll go, go over here for right now. I'm fucking about to crash into this, but whatever. Yeah, this works. No, no. Oh my god, Claude, what the fuck did you just do? You can never fucking predict what the fuck he, he will pull off when it goes into the water. They're shooting me. That's bullshit. 
I didn't do nothing, officer, I swear. What the fuck's going on? Where did my Yakuza Stinger go? I don't know, but we gotta get the fuck out of here. So, I don't think we ever hit this much Star 1 level, but... At a certain point, like... Oh, I could've taken that fucking turn. Damn it. At a certain point, FBI starts following you and they're equipped with, like... I don't know, they can just fuck you up in, like, seconds. They're pretty fucked up, to be honest, so... Dealing with those guys is always a pain in the ass. And you can see, I didn't do that much, and there's already explosions just going on everywhere. But thank fucking god I actually managed to get over here. Pretty quickly and pretty smoothly, very nice. We finally drive a stinger that's not a Yakuza stinger, that's cool. And they all just gave up. Nice. Honestly, GTA 5... Uh, I feel like getting away from cops in GTA 5 is way easier than any other game because in GTA 5 you have the like vicinity circles with the cops so you know how far away you need to get for, away from the cops for them to like lose the sight of you you know you just need to get out of that circle on the minimap and then if you hang around outside of that circle for long enough the cops just give up and yeah honestly that makes the game a lot easier you know what's funny? Like, I cannot remember a single thing about the, my Let's Play of Grand Theft Auto V. Only thing I remember is me constantly pointing out the fact that I get to listen to all the cool music on the radio while you don't. Also, this month, actually next week apparently, apparently, next week we're getting uh, Grand Theft Auto V Enhanced and shit, or whatever the fuck it's called. Which is supposed to be this, like, remaster of Grand Theft Auto V. Offshore delivery, I got an achievement. Why don't I get an achievement for every mission? If you're gonna give me achievement for this one. Grand Theft Aereo. Thank you for retrieving those packages, but they were only a decoy. Oh, Sorry you asshole. But that's sometimes the way in business. My real objective was hidden on the plane all along. Unfortunately, the Port Authority seized the plane and were stripping it down until I intervened at great personal expense. Cross the bridge to Shoreside Vale and go to Francis International Airport. Oh, we're going to Shoreside Vale. My property will be waiting for you at the, we got the third island unlocked. You know what sucks about the third island? All the missions that require you to go to the third island, they all start from Staunton Island. Pretty much most of them do, until like very late in the game. And I think that's a really shitty idea because that just makes... That just forces you to do so much fucking driving around. Look how far I have to go just for that mission. And then after that... I got missions for Asuka again, except now she's in a different place. And then she tells me to constantly go to Short Side Vale. And just like fucking, I gotta go back and forth between these two islands constantly at this point in the game. Why is the game lagging so much? Jesus Christ. Grand Theft Auto 3 is lagging on a PS5. Also, they never fixed that street. For some reason, there's just a concrete on it for no reason. Why am I wanted? The fuck I did. Didn't do nothing, officer. Didn't do nothing. Apparently, the moving bridge in this. Also, yeah, the moving bridge is a really big pain in the ass in this game. What the fuck, man? Come on. Like, how often does it open up, open up and close? Every five minutes. It's always a gamble whether this bridge will be up and or up or down. I could do like a cool thing where like the bridge only okay, very rarely goes up when you go there. And they could just do a thing where like the bridge always is down when you're trying to cross. But I don't think that's the case. I think they just kind of randomized. I don't think I have a sniper rifle on me by the way. I need to pull off a mission where I need to get to that fucking... Hey, they're shooting at me. I don't have a sniper rifle. That sucks. Suspect is on foot. Why do they keep chasing? I do hate how fucking good of an aim these fuckers have. Usually you do this mission and you're like far away with a sniper rifle. This gun is insanely good but like fucking... Shooting with it is so fucking annoying. Gonna... 
Well, I did kill everyone. Nice. What an easy job. Well, does the plane have anything in it? Oh, no, the packages. Bro, I'm gonna fly the plane, I don't care. What the fuck? What the fuck? All right. P -p 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 construction. Hmm. There's a construction yard on Stonton Island. Maybe they took the packages there. You know, this this dialogue line made me start to think. Wait, was the green text on the bottom of the screen always Claude's inner thoughts? Or what the hell? There's a bunch of planes here. There's a helicopters. None of them can be interacted with. This is the only. I'm gonna fucking fly the plane, I don't care. I'm gonna pull it off, guys. There's like a strategy to this. Oh, I flew for four seconds, nice. I'm gonna fly it to our objective. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna pull it off. Why is this plane always going down? How do you fucking fly this thing? It just goes down, it's like, what, is it not a plane? It's not designed to be floated? Fucking testing a piece of shit. And yes, we do have to redo Thank this entire thing. Those packages. Just because I attempted to fly a plane. <laughs> Fuck this game. I don't get to fly- was that cat- I swear to God, I thought I ran over Catalina. Like her model just appeared on the fucking street for some reason. I think it was just like some girl. I for a second thought it was Catalina. Reddit Online had a weird glitch at some point where Arthur Morgan would appear in the game. But he would appear dead. The corpses of Arthur Morgan would just appear in GTA Online. Very, very fucking creepy pasta wordy shit. You know, I haven't really... There was not really like any popular creepypastas in a while. Remember when like Sonic.exe was like a big thing on YouTube? Even though I almost claimed it was the fucking dumbest thing ever. Not even scary, like, oh god it's Sonic but he has blood in his eyes. Oh, so fucking scary. See, that's what I'm fucking talking about with this bridge. Should always act like that. Close it just in time for me to fucking get in. So yeah, so fuck the plane I guess. Damn it. Sumo. And... What was I saying? It's like my catchphrase on this channel. What was I saying? I cannot re remember. I was talking about the plane being a piece of shit. And then I talked about Catalina. Then I talked about creepypastas. That's what I was talking about. Creepypastas. Yeah, there was no, like, creepypasta in a while. That was, like, a popular thing. It's been a while since you had one that, like became like like I mean there are new creepy passes and all that bullshit but like I'm talking about like one that reaches like mainstream status where everybody heard of it and a bunch of dumbass fucking youtubers try to fucking exploit it and a bunch of little girls for some reason have crushes on characters from this creepy pasta That's a thing that always happens with people about the characters. For some reason, I don't know why, I guess, little girls are always attracted to fucking the, the like, exact opposite of what they I think should be. But then again, I'm some fucking old man. Who do I get to fucking tell little girls who to be attracted to? They want to be fucked by Slender Man, then fucking... What do I give a fuck about? Like my new car? No? Well, fuck you then. I'm gonna drive this plane all the way to Staunton Island. And then I'll... Try to fly it. It's my new car. Don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't think I ever did this where I tried to fucking just drive the plane around. Guys, out of my way, I can't really handbrake. 
this plane's not very good at turning either. See what I'm talking about? Look, we went to the airport and we did what? We killed like four people, looked at thing, and now we gotta go back to Staunton Island. We gotta not only do that, but we gotta now like go to like the other end of it. It's just annoying, man. Hold on, I got a sick idea right now. Holy shit. Oh my god, I'm flying. I'm doing it, guys. Holy fuck, I didn't even meant to. I flew for nine seconds. World record. Actually, there is... There are people who genuinely know how to fly this thing. How to fly the plane in GTA 3. Well, I don't have a car, bro. It's a plane. Can't you tell? So many bosses around here. Can I shoot out of the plane? Oh, I can. I was not expecting that, actually. Yeah, well, there was a patch for this game recently that I've been talking about, but, like, they really didn't change anything that interesting. They just changed a bunch of, like, small things. Shut up, Jesus. Oh, now I gotta go through this part of this level. An even worse part. I hate this this mission. This is the, my most hated mission in the entire game. What you gotta do now is I gotta go to the construction site. But the problem with it is that the construction site is just full. Oh, my poor plane. Kinda wanted to use it a bit longer and fucking got blown up. I wanted to... Uh, the problem with this fucking place I have is that it's just filled with like very tight corridors and you gotta kill Colombians in it. And I don't have a sniper rifle, which would be insanely helpful right now, but I just don't fucking have it. And I'm pretty sure if I tried, I could approach this place at a better angle. There's like a staircase leading up around here. There it is. So I could use that. Ooh, an armor and health. Next to each other like this. That's kind of convenient. Yeah, so now I think I should be able to spot some Colombians. Which I can then kill. Can't really zoom in on them, but like... This gun is so fucking powerful, but it's just... Really clunky to use. Alright, oh, fucker, get away. There's one guy over there, there's like a couple of guys behind that wall, so I can't really see them very well. <laughs> nice. I don't even fucking... Just like, one tap and they're all dead. That's what I like about this gun. What package. Be cool if I finally collected that 40 package, which would actually give me a new weapon. Not sure which one it would be, I think the shotgun. No, I have a free shotgun, right? No, I don't. I got grenades. Interesting how actually quite useful the grenades are in this game, but like... It's just an they're just annoying to use. And GTA 4, I think that's when they figured out how the fuck to use grenades. AK is also, I think, like around the same like power level as this, as the M4. It just like... You don't go into first person while using it. Actually, it might be slightly weaker. The fuck he holds his AK. It's like he never held a gun before. I found this website a while back. It's called, uh, I believe it's called CS Noobs. And they sell these like really cool toy guns. But I couldn't find... For, like, for some reason, YouTube just recommended me a bunch of their videos of them using these guns. But I cannot find, like, a review of their products. Only only reviews of CS Noobs I see is, like, people reviewing whether their website is safe to use. And for the most part, they say it's a, it's pretty safe to use because it's a Chinese website. But it's like, 
are, there, are these toy guns cool? Are they good? Are they high quality? Or are they complete garbage? Don't shoot, amigo. No, no, no problem. We are friends. Here, Don't be such take a this. Pussy. Hey, we got no choice, baby. Her hair is different. No, we got a choice, you dumb bastard. Oh no, Catalina! Don't I'm kill yourself. Bitch, man. They, they all the same. Please, for favor. So the hall <laughs> got away, but you. Asuka somehow got here. You know, What's up with her outfit? Has a score to settle with the cartel. She has a sleeveless jacket. I never killed no yakuza. Liar. Really big boots for some reason. Oh yeah, the cartel assassin, not me. That sound effect is just. This whole costume. Claude shows up in a pretty cool action sequence where he's pretty badass. Catalina just jumps onto some boxes and survives that, and Claude doesn't shoot her or anything. She betrays Miguel, who's also the guy who was our driver at the very beginning of the game. So I don't know why Miguel doesn't know, act like he doesn't know Claude. What the hell? Also, something... Well, the game came out for some reason... What the fuck? For some reason, the Yakuza had El Diablo's logo on their back. They don't have that anymore. Also, I'm still in a mission. It's a pretty interesting mission, this mission is. We had, straight up, a mid-mission cutscene. That's kind of a rarity for this game. This game usually gives you a cutscene at the beginning, and then you're just told what to do, and then the mission ends. And you go and do another mission. You notice how it doesn't make any sense that Claude gets paid these fucking insane amounts of money for, like, the simplest of tasks? This is what I really hated in Grand Theft Auto V. Like, there's so many missions in Grand Theft Auto V that don't pay you anything. Not to mention in Red Dead 2 there's missions where you literally have to spend money and you don't get paid. Like towards the end where Arthur kind of goes on a redemption arc. Is this that moment where like Donald Love is gonna disappear? Oh, I guess not. Alright, let's do another mission for him. We got an Asuka mission and a Ray mission, so I guess we can finish Ray's missions. Escort service. Oh, he's still around. You are proving to be a safe investment. A rare thing in these days of falsehood. Ah, my, my fucking... little friend will need an escort while he takes my latest acquisition to be Taint. <laughs> I want you to follow him and make sure both he and my package get to Pike Creek unharmed. The fuck is Pike Creek? What was I saying? Oh, okay. Oriental friend. What is he in the back? You'll need a car. Well, there's the car. Oh, I gotta escort them. Okay. What was I saying? I was saying something about how... That cutscene was really weird and this whole mission was pretty interesting for this game. There's a mission for Donald Love, which is basically just a cutscene. Kind of like that one mission for Salvatore, where he tells us to go and meet 8-Ball. And then you're not really forced to go and meet him immediately, you just kind of... It's like a mission that triggers a different mission. Alright, so we basically gotta just escort them. I'm not sure what the, the catch with this mission is. I got a feeling there is a catch. They really couldn't bother to add some checkpoints to this fucking game. Like, the last mission could really use a checkpoint after we're done with the airport. They could have given us a checkpoint so we don't have to redo the whole thing because you chose to fly a plane around and then drown yourself like a moron like I did. What church? I never pay attention to the surrounding areas of this fucking city. Then I'm like, oh look, a burger place. Staunton Island is kind of, I don't know, fucking boring. This whole game's map is just not interesting like this. I wish there was more interiors in this game, like the, the computer stores, those are pretty cool. Oh, I wonder if they remastered the graphics of, P of GTA 1 and 2 on the computers in the computer store. I gotta go check that out. Uh-oh. These guys are up to no good.
Yeah, so I knew eventually some assholes are gonna try to go after our, our car. They're dealing damage to it. Now they dealt damage to it, but now it's fine. And I believe the car is gonna try to go through a tunnel right now. What's shooting? Are they shooting forward? You're not allowed to shoot forward in this game. Fuck off. You're aware you're damaging the goods. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's no cartels in the tunnel. There was a cartel gangster on top of the tunnel, but... There's cartel gangsters outside. The Colombians are outside of the tunnel, so I'm gonna go to the end. Kill them. Make sure my fucking... See how these tunnels aren't even marked on the map? So that's what I always found. Hold on. Portland Island, Shortside Vale. That's where I wanna go. See, nice that there's actually signs, because I had no idea which way to go. No way, there is the tunnel system marked on the map. It just kind of looks weird. Are you sure I'm going the right way? Yeah, alright, they're going this way. I was like, maybe the package is meant to go to Portland? No. Short Side Vale Francis International Airport. Pretty sure they're going out of the airport. Oh look, I already have the safe house on the third island, even though I never needed to go there just so far. But I already own it. They never even gave me the safe house. Nobody ever told me like, oh here's an apartment. What well, Claude bought it himself? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he could maybe he did. Alright, now where the fuck are these fuckers? They should be outside. I don't... I don't see anybody. They are going this way. There should be a bunch of gangsters around here. Basically waiting for the, the car to show up. How long is this episode? 27 minutes? If we pull this off, then it will be a pretty good length. Next episode, I guess we're gonna go help Donald Love and Ray. And then we're gonna continue with the Asuka missions. Blah blah blah, there you go. Up here, I don't know where piece of shit. Look, a plane's going down. Is that all? Really? Just one guy? Seems like it, they're right out of the tunnel. Is that a cartel gang? Oh shit, that's a cartel gangster too. Didn't notice. Oh my god, my car is so fucked up. Uh oh. That just suicide themselves and killed me. Oh, you know what happened to me when I first played this mission? This mission actually broke. Because this car is on a pretty, pretty strict path. That it just pretty much never leaves, right? And what happened to me is that... Okay, I don't know what's going on, but... Hope it won't fucking kill me. See, it made... It took this turn to go to the garage, but one time I played... And the car got pushed this direction. And then it just would not, like, turn around or do anything. It tried to go to the garage from the wrong side of the, this, this place. This street. So basically what the car did is just kind of, like, rammed itself against that wall. And so we got more payphone missions and short side veil. Short side veil is just like a location you're not very often in this game, like I just said, so you don't remember the layout of it all that well, like you do for the other islands. And so we got more payphone missions. Let's do them later when I'm actually around that area more often. Because like what what point do I have? How do I benefit from pissing off everybody on this island already? Like I did kind of with the Jamaicans when I got this onto an island and immediately pissed people off. Hey, 
go? Why not? Why aren't you going? Shortcut, brother. Come on. I don't know why I did that. I just wanted to to see what happens. Freaking maniac! Who's a maniac? Nice to get a sentinel, like a normal one. We got a lot of missions to choose from now. Started off this episode, we only had like Ray. Skywalker? That's right. Ray Skywalker. I was really hoping she would say Palpatine at the end of episode 9. Like, oh, is episode 9 gonna make it where Palpatine is like a good thing now? And she's a good guy and she embraces that, like, it doesn't matter that her name is Palpatine, she's not evil like her grandpa. It's just fucking... I forgot about that. Ray is supposed to be Palpatine's granddaughter. That's so fucking stupid. I fucking hate episode 9. Like, genuinely fucking hate it. It's fucking horrible. Anyway, how long is this episode? Long enough. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.